The Kutta Joukowsky theorem is a fundamental theorem in aerodynamics used for the calculation of lift of an airfoil and any two dimensional bodies, including circular cylinders translating in a uniform fluid at a constant speed large enough so that the flow seen in the body fixed frame is steady and unseparated. The theorem relates the lift generated by an airfoil to the speed of the airfoil through the fluid, the density of the fluid and the circulation around the airfoil. The circulation is defined as the line integral around a closed loop enclosing the airfoil of the component of the velocity of the fluid tangent to the loop. It is named after Martin Kutta and Nikolai Zhukovsky, or Zhukovsky who first developed its key ideas in the early 20th century. kutta zhukovsky theorem is an inviscid theory, but it is a good approximation for real viscous flow in typical aerodynamic applications. Kutta Joukowsky theorem relates lift to circulation much like the Magnus effect relates side force, called Magnus force to rotation. However, the circulation here is not induced by rotation of the airfoil. The fluid flow in the presence of the airfoil can be considered to be the superposition of a translational flow and a rotating flow. This rotating flow is induced by the effects of camber, angle of attack and a sharp trailing edge of the airfoil. It should not be confused with a vortex like a tornado encircling the airfoil. At a large distance from the airfoil, the rotating flow may be regarded as induced by a line vortex with the rotating line perpendicular to the two-dimensional plane. In the derivation of the kutta joukowsky theorem the airfoil is usually mapped onto a circular cylinder. In many textbooks, the theorem is proved for a circular cylinder and the Joukovsky airfoil, but it holds true for general airfoils. <laughs> Lift force formula The theorem applies to two-dimensional flow around a fixed airfoil or any shape of infinite span, the lift per unit span L of the airfoil is given by where rho infinity and V infinity display style V underscore in T are the fluid density and the fluid velocity far upstream of the airfoil and gamma display style gamma is the circulation defined as the line integral gamma equals C V D S equals C V cos theta D S Display style gamma equals oint underscore c v c d o t d math b f s equals oint underscore c v cos theta d s around a closed contour c display style c enclosing the airfoil and followed in the positive anti-clockwise direction. As explained below, this path must be in a region of potential flow and not in the boundary layer of the cylinder. The integrand v cos theta display style v cos theta is the component of the local fluid velocity in the direction tangent to the curve c 
display style c and d s display style ds is an infinitesimal length on the curve c display style c equation 1 is a form of the kutta jukowski theorem Kuth and Schetzer state the kutta jukowski theorem as follows the force per unit length acting on a right cylinder of any cross section whatsoever is equal to minus rho infinity v infinity gamma display style rho underscore in a t v underscore in a t gamma and is perpendicular to the direction of v infinity display style v underscore in a t topic circulation and the kutta condition A lift producing air foil either has camber or operates at a positive angle of attack, the angle between the cord line and the fluid flow far upstream of the air foil. Moreover, the air foil must have a «sharp» trailing edge. Any real fluid is viscous, which implies that the fluid velocity vanishes on the air foil. Prawn DTL showed that for large Reynolds number, defined as R E equals Rho V infinity C A mu Display style re equals frac rho v underscore in a t c underscore a mu and small angle of attack. The flow around a thin air foil is composed of a narrow viscous region called the boundary layer near the body and an inviscid flow region outside. In applying the kutta jukowski theorem, the loop must be chosen outside this boundary layer, for example, the circulation calculated using the loop corresponding to the surface of the air foil would be zero for a viscous fluid. The sharp trailing edge requirement corresponds physically to a flow in which the fluid moving along the lower and upper surfaces of the air foil meet smoothly, with no fluid moving around the trailing edge of the air foil. This is known as the Kutta condition. Kutta and Zhukovsky showed that for computing the pressure and lift of a thin air foil for flow at large Reynolds number and small angle of attack, the flow can be assumed inviscid in the entire region outside the air foil provided the Kutta condition is imposed. This is known as the potential flow theory and works remarkably well in practice. topic derivation two derivations are presented below the first is a heuristic argument based on physical insight the second is a formal and technical one requiring basic vector analysis and complex analysis topic Heuristic argument For a heuristic argument, consider a thin air foil of cord C an infinite span, moving through air of density ρ let the air foil be inclined to the oncoming flow to produce an air speed v display style v on one side of the air foil and an air speed v 
plus v display style v plus v on the other side the circulation is then gamma equals v c minus v plus v c equals minus v c display style gamma equals v c v plus v c equals v c the difference in pressure delta p display style delta p between the two sides of the air foil can be found by applying bernoulli's equation rho 2 v 2 plus p plus delta p equals rho 2 v plus v 2 plus p Display style FRAC row two V carrot two plus P plus delta P equals FRAC row two V plus V carrot two plus P row two V two plus delta P equals row 2 v 2 plus 2 v v plus v 2 Display style FRAC row two V carrot two plus delta P equals FRAC row two V carrot two plus two V V plus V carrot two Delta P equals row V V ignoring row 2 v 2 display style delta p equals row v v q quad text ignoring frac row 2 v caret 2 so the lift force per unit span is l equals c Delta P equals Rho V V C equals minus Rho V Gamma Display style L equals C delta P equals Rho V V C equals Rho V gamma. A differential version of this theorem applies on each element of the plate and is the basis of thin airfoil theory. Topic: Formal derivation. Topic: Lift forces for more complex situations. The lift predicted by the Kutta-Joukovsky theorem within the framework of inviscid potential flow theory is quite accurate, even for real viscous flow, provided the flow is steady and unseparated. A Kutta-Joukovsky theorem for steady irrotational flow. 
In deriving the Kutta Joukowsky theorem, the assumption of irrotational flow was used. When there are free vortices outside of the body, as may be the case for a large number of unsteady flows, the flow is rotational. When the flow is rotational, more complicated theories should be used to derive the lift forces. Below are several important examples. b. Impulsively started flow at small angle of attack. For an impulsively started flow such as obtained by suddenly accelerating an airfoil or setting an angle of attack, there is a vortex sheet continuously shed at the trailing edge and the lift force is unsteady or time dependent. For small angle of attack starting flow, the vortex sheet follows a planar path, and the curve of the lift coefficient as function of time is given by the Wagner function. In this case the initial lift is one half of the final lift given by the kutta joukowsky formula. The lift attains 90% of its steady state value when the wing has traveled a distance of about 7 cord lengths. c. Impulsively started flow at large angle of attack. When the angle of attack is high enough, the trailing edge vortex sheet is initially in a spiral shape and the lift is singular infinitely large at the initial time. The lift drops for a very short time period before the usually assumed monotonically increasing lift curve is reached. d. Starting flow at large angle of attack for wings with sharp leading edges. If, as for a flat plate, the leading edge is also sharp, then vortices also shed at the leading edge and the role of leading edge vortices is twofold one, they are lift increasing when they are still close to the leading edge, so that they elevate the Wagner lift curve, two, they are detrimental to lift when they are convected to the trailing edge, inducing a new trailing edge vortex spiral moving in the lift decreasing direction. For this type of flow a vortex force line VFL map can be used to understand the effect of the different vortices in a variety of situations including more situations than starting flow and may be used to improve vortex control to enhance or reduce the lift. The vortex force line map is a two-dimensional map on which vortex force lines are displayed. For a vortex at any point in the flow, its lift contribution is proportional to its speed, its circulation and the cosine of the angle between the streamline and the vortex force line. Hence the vortex force line map clearly shows whether a given vortex is lift producing or lift detrimental. E. Lagoli theorem when a mass source is fixed outside the body, a force correction due to this source can be expressed as the product of the strength of outside source and the induced velocity at this source by all the causes except this source. This is known as the Lagoli theorem. For two-dimensional inviscid flow, the classical kutta joukowsky theorem predicts a zero drag. When, however, there is vortex outside the body, there is a vortex-induced drag, in a form similar to the induced lift f generalized Lagoli theorem. For free vortices and other bodies outside one body without bound vorticity and without vortex production, a generalized Lagoli theorem holds, with which the forces are expressed as the products of strength of inner singularities image vortices, sources and doublets inside each body and the induced velocity at these singularities by all causes except those inside this body. The contribution due to each inner singularity sums up to give the total force. The motion of outside singularities also contributes to forces, and the force component due to this contribution is proportional to the speed of the singularity. G. 
individual force of each body for multiple body rotational flow. When in addition to multiple free vortices and multiple bodies, there are bound vortices and vortex production on the body surface, the generalized Lagalie theorem still holds, but a force due to vortex production exists. This vortex production force is proportional to the vortex production rate and the distance between the vortex pair in production. With this approach, an explicit and algebraic force formula, taking into account of all causes inner singularities, outside vortices and bodies, motion of all singularities and bodies, and vortex production holds individually for each body with the role of other bodies represented by additional singularities. Hence a force decomposition according to bodies is possible. H general three-dimensional viscous flow. For general three-dimensional, viscous and unsteady flow, force formulas are expressed in integral forms. The volume integration of certain flow quantities, such as vorticity moments, is related to forces. Various forms of integral approach are now available for unbounded domain and for artificially truncated domain. The kutta jukovsky theorem can be recovered from these approaches when applied to a two-dimensional airfoil and when the flow is steady and unseparated. I lifting line theory for wings, wing tip vortices and induced drag. A wing has a finite span, and the circulation at any section of the wing varies with the spanwise direction. This variation is compensated by the release of streamwise vortices called trailing vortices, due to conservation of vorticity or Kelvin theorem of circulation conservation. These streamwise vortices merge to two counter-rotating strong spirals, called wing-tip vortices, separated by distance close to the wingspan and may be visible if the sky is cloudy. Treating the trailing vortices as a series of semi-infinite straight-line vortices leads to the well-known lifting line theory. By this theory, the wing has a lift force smaller than that predicted by a purely two-dimensional theory using the kutta jukovsky theorem. Most importantly, there is an induced drag. This induced drag is a pressure drag which has nothing to do with frictional drag. See also Horseshoe vortex equals equals notes. <laughs>